how to make your results good and get profit from it so today i'll be telling you guys three steps in making your reserves good and you can be able to sell the players in your reserve for a good amount of money so the first one is buy 16 to 17 year old players only to assign the best coaches to take assign the best coach to take control of reserve matches three bring back players who are doing well on loan so the first one is buy 16 to 17 year old players only do not buy 18 year old years old players i think if you buy an 18 year old player or 19 year old player i think the player is going to the player's development is not that um not that raw i think if you buy a player that is 16 to 17 year old is it's raw the player is young and every single thing he's going to he's going to get development every like in every single aspect of his of, uh, of his attributes then well the thing there is that when you buy these type of players you need to put them in your reserves they kind of develop so quickly so rapidly if you buy them very young at that age you can even buy a 15 year old player that would be very good so i think the second one is assign the best coaches to take control of reserve matches um the this is very 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 important i think you have to look at the kind of um, coaches you sign the kind of, if you you're signing an attacking coach a general coach a defensive coach a goalkeeping coach any coach that you want to sign you have to sign a very good um, coach that can be able to take in on reserve matches um my advice to you is if you you should get an attacking coach that can be able to take like that, that can be able to manage reserve matches but you can still go for youth coaches uh, a youth coach um it will it, enhance your youth you enhance them because they're, they're young and they need someone who can be able to um, direct them in the best possible possible way so i think that is is really important then the third one is bring back players who are doing well or no um players who are doing well or no it's important for you to bring them back because if they are doing well even players that are not doing well alone, bring them back. Players who are doing well alone, if they are doing so well alone, you can you have an option to leave them for the remainder of the year, or bring back bring them back. But I would advise if they are doing so well, you can bring them back. But let's just say sixty percent leave them on loan, and forty percent bring them back. Why do I say it? I say it because I think if you're bringing a player back on loan who is doing well, I think when I mean, when I mean bring them back on loan, I think I'm thinking of January, February. I, those are the months that you can be able to bring them back in the team because you're you have already um the ex you have already taken some experience from their loan and six months or seven months of loan is enough for some players to get the development they want so you can bring them into your reserves and they are able to do so uh, then implement um inaugurate them into your sec- in your first team but bringing them back on loan is a good idea but sometimes i do leave them on loan nowadays I, I think i i don't send my players on loan but i'll still talk about that one in a different um in a different video so these are the three um, steps I have told you guys. The first one is buy 16 year old, like 16 to 17 year old only players. These are young young players, players that can be um, able to be like they can come into your team easily, and um, assign the best to assign the best coach to take control of reserve matches. Very really, really really important. You can get in a youth coach or an attacking coach, someone who can be able to lead your young players into victories and win games. Then the third one is bring back players who are doing well or known. Obviously this is a choice, it's not it's not something that I would say I'll tell you that you should do. But I'm just saying if you want to do well in your reserve matches you should bring players who are doing well because even players who are not doing well you can be able to turn them turn their their year around when you when you bring them back they can be able to start to perform in your team so 
you should be thinking about that that is how to make your reserves good and get profit from it thank you guys